What is up? Jake from OneHive here with an updated version of the How To Hog video. Uh, I guess you could still call it after the update. Um, when I made the first video, uh, it was a long time ago. A lot's changed in the game. Uh, base design has changed. The bases that we've run into have changed. They're more upgraded. Uh, walls are easier to make. Uh, people have their, their heroes usually a little bit higher than what we used to see. And after the update, uh, most of the Clash community was under the impression that hogs were dead, nobody would be using them in war, uh, so we ran into a lot more bases that were honestly pretty easy to hog. Uh, that's sort of a thing of the past. I think everyone knows that hogs aren't dead, uh, that they're still very capable of three-starring bases if you don't uh, build them correctly, if you don't defend against it. Uh, so the days of seeing, you know, no double giant bomb sets or giant bomb sets sitting in the outside in the hog ring, those are pretty much over for any serious war clan. I mean, you might run into a farming clan that still has that stuff, but honestly, it wouldn't matter what attack you brought uh, to to fight those guys. So uh, when you when you're seeing modern bases and, and these harder bases, I felt like the video needed updated. You know, it needs uh, some of the stuff still holds true. Uh, some of the techniques you'll see are probably pretty similar, but there has also been a lot of evolution in, in the attacks that we use and, and the techniques that we use. So I wanted to bring that to you guys uh, just, to, just to update, show what we're doing now when we use hogs, because we still use hogs a lot. Yes, Lalunian's popular, it's very powerful, uh, but some bases still need to be hogged, uh, and we still do it. So we're going to look at some of those bases, similar to how we've done it before. We're going to draw it out, scout out the base, show you where everything is, and then go into more detail about, about how to deploy the hogs, uh, different angles to come at, how to take the queen out, all those things that we've talked about before. Uh, but we're going we're gonna to dig into them pretty deep, and hopefully uh, when it's over, have, you guys will have a pretty good understanding of how to use hogs on a lot, of, a lot more bases than, maybe than, than you're looking at now and saying, oh, that base can't be hog when it still possibly could. Let's check out some bases and talk about it. All right, here's the first base we're going to look at. Uh, at first glance on this base, you would think it was a pretty tough hog attack, uh, but really it's not. Uh, one of the first skills you need to develop when you're going to start using hogs or if you're trying to get better at using hogs is identifying the, the giant bomb locations. Uh, and on a base like this that seems like it's got a lot of double, double bomb uh, locations, it really doesn't or has very few that make sense. Uh, let's just work our way around the base. Uh, you've obviously got a potential spot here, you've got a potential spot here, potential here, you've got a potential spot there, potential spot there, here, 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 and here, and in the core. And uh, no, that's not one there, sorry. All right, so looking at these bomb spots, you know, it seems like there's a lot there, but you can start marking them off very quickly uh, the ones that make absolutely no sense. Um, any of these around the outside can be triggered with one hog. You can send a hog in because it's only a, a two by four space. Uh, you can send one hog in and those would immediately be, uh, the double giant, would, giant bomb would no longer be there. One of the bombs would be triggered effectively uh, eliminating them uh, as a giant bomb spot. So really if someone was to do that, that would be very silly on their part. Uh, it might catch you on a first attack, but the cleanup attack will be extremely easy. So you can eliminate those immediately as a possibility. Now, working your way further into the base, uh, this particular spot here make, would make absolutely no sense. Most people are intelligent enough to realize that they need to have their bombs between defenses. If not, there's no reason for your hogs to path there. The best they're going to get is one of those bombs triggered as the hogs move by. There will be no reason for them to ever trigger both of those bombs at the same time, uh, so we can eliminate that as a possibility. This spot in the core here, again, same situation with the king on that side, really not a good spot at all. Uh, if he's got them there, the chances of the bombs triggering at the same time are almost zero, and that's going to be a recurring theme here. For double bombs to be effective, they have to trigger at the same time. If they trigger one at a time, we can heal through that, and we're going to cover that in more detail a little later. But the, the goal of the double bombs is to trigger at the same time, take out all your hogs. So that really leaves us with three possible spots. Um, so let's talk about this, uh, this 
base. Let's talk about the attack and how you would sort of work around that or negate those possible spots. Now, let me go ahead and clear all this out of the way, and we're going to talk about the way BP does it. Uh, BP starts this raid by sending, uh, I don't know if it's probably six or eight hogs, somewhere like that, in this direction. And the two Teslas pop here, one there and one there. So he immediately drops a heal. He's brought, you know, several heals with him. He drops a heal for his hogs there. And they, they take all this out. And finally, one hog, he actually sends a, a couple balloons here, but they don't. Uh, they don't take out the archer tower because of the air defense. It was sort of a, a mistake to send those there. But eventually the hogs bust through. They take out every defense in this section, all four of those, and just make their way in and boom. As they start to go to this expo, they trigger one of the giant bombs. So there's a double giant bomb set right here, and the hogs going in trigger that. Now, that's a big investment. You've sent in six, eight, I think you might, might end up sending the nine hogs. I'm not sure. We'll have to look at that during the attack. And used a heal spell. But look what he's gotten for it. He's taken out four defensive buildings. And and now had those Teslas not popped, he wouldn't have had to take out, uh, he wouldn't have had to use the heal spell. He had to use it because the Teslas were there. Uh, had they not popped, he could have done this with probably six hogs. They would have went in there and still got that, uh, got the trigger of that bomb. So... He's taking out four defensive buildings, three point defense, which are very important. Gotten a one bomb trigger of the four, and he starts his CC lure. Now at that time, after that's done, he sends in two balloons right here. Now, we talked about this being uh, one of the three possible locations, either, either here or here, that there could be a double giant bomb. But simply by sending those two loons and taking out this archer tower, now there's no reason for his hawks to go there anymore. So all the spots are eliminated except for this one and the one over here, but he's triggered one of those bombs. So really he's just got one double bomb set to worry about now. So that goes down. He brings the clan castle over. Uh, normal clan castle kill, guys. What you'll see us do 99% of the time is you drop an anchor over here. Uh, the CC troops come out. Uh, make sure you get the CC empty. You know, uh, have a plan. Have a, a sufficient plan to get it empty. Uh, again, he started it over here, and these two loons finished the lure for him, so it was completely empty. Uh, pay attention to what comes out of it. Look for that witch or wizard at the end to make sure you know it's it's uh, finished. Uh, then bring witches. Two witches. Uh, bring some barbarians for distraction. You know, send those in to distract. Make sure that uh, the CC troops are focusing on those until your uh, witches start getting the skeletons worked up. And then back it up with your archer queen. She's a huge help taking out CC troops. Uh, she'll she'll help you tremendously. Maybe a few wizards to flank, and then you've got it taken care of. Now, once the CC troops dead, all he has to do is get in there, take out the defensive queen. She's huge, especially level twenty queen. Like on this base, you've got to take that queen out. There's no way around it. Uh, just like in the in the video uh, that we originally did, we still use golems to do that. Uh, you you send a golem out. He's your tank. Uh, he just brought some wall breakers for this first wall, bust it through, uh, creating your funnel. Huge thing here, guys. You've got to create a funnel for your Barbarian King. He's going to be the one that runs in there and takes out that queen for you, but you've got to direct him. He will go on a walk around the base if you don't, so you've got to take out some trash buildings uh, somewhere to break that funnel so the next closest building to that king is into the base. Once that happens... Uh, had a jump spell for right here that lets them come in if, if the queen jumps this wall can still get to her if she jumps this wall can still get to her but also as these defensive buildings go down and die that, that golem is going to work its way over here and trigger these bombs as well so now all those bombs are triggered everything is safe he's got three heals oh excuse me she only has two heals left he used one on the front end two heals and he can send his wave of hogs in so he comes in from the top with his hogs they start working their way around the base. He drops a heal, I believe, right in this area to take care of them. And then the last heal, he actually ends up using it right over here because the kill squad had done so well. Came in, taken out defenses, and there wasn't much left down here for his hogs to even travel this way. They do end up getting full health, and this expo is the last defense. They travel over that single bomb, but not enough. It's too little too late. Uh, the base has been three stars. So that's the kind of things you want to look for when you're when you're first looking at a base to hog. Uh, where are the possible bomb spots? 
How am I going to get to that queen? Uh, incorporate in your lure pre-triggering a bomb if at all possible. Send in those hogs to try to get them to trigger a bomb. And then obviously in your queen kill, when you're sending the golem in, the king, whatever's going in with there, make sure you're sending it from an angle that's going to trigger another set of giant bombs. That's going to eliminate the bomb threat, and that's going to allow your hogs to roam free. Let's watch BP do this. I think it'll make a little more sense. All right, here you go. You see the hogs coming in. Actually, sorry, the balloons he deployed first. That's it, the hogs in. Tesla's pop. He reacts, drops the heel spell. He knows he's got to get in there and trigger those bombs. It's got to happen. Uh, so you've got to sometimes adjust your plan on the fly. You see he even thought he was not going to have enough hogs. Sent one more. He really didn't need it. Sends that extra hog in. But there you go. The CC lure has started, almost gotten it completely empty, if not completely empty, and has gotten a bomb triggered. There's the two balloons onto that archer tower. Now those bombs are eliminated. There's no reason for his hogs to go into those, those compartments had the bombs even been there. Uh, remember, bring a few barch uh, to distract all those troops, and then right there you see the witches go down, backed up by the queen. They're going to take care of all those CC troops. A few wizards to help out, just a little splash damage there. Sometimes it takes a moment or two. Don't panic. Uh, you're, the witches, especially if they have a witch in their CC, they're battling for control. They're going back and forth, but your queen is the, uh, she's the tiebreaker. She shoots so quickly and does such a good job that you will overwhelm them, so don't panic. Give them time to develop and take care of uh, those CC troops. Now the golem goes down. Again, you have to create that funnel. You'll see that uh, the cannon down there is targeting the golem, so it's safe for him to drop that wizard. And the king right there, you see, breaks it. Now the king's going to go in. The next closest building is that wizard tower. So break that funnel. If you don't, it will mess up your raid, guys. I promise you, I've done it. You've seen it on the channel. Uh, jump spell, remember, make it to where it doesn't matter which way the queen goes. Uh, connect both those compartments so that right here, as soon as this cannon goes down and the golem starts going in, the king's going to follow, and then right there, as soon as the queen shoots something, but it's the defensive queen already beat him to it, but he was going to towards that queen, he would have taken her out. Now the hogs are coming in. The double bomb is set off. There's only one bomb left on the map. Uh, so BP is free to send his hogs in. They're going to work their way through the base. Uh, you see a couple go flying to spring traps. That's going to happen. There's nothing you can do about it. You just got to bring enough hogs. Uh, and then right here, he makes a decision to go ahead and drop. The, the skeletons are beating on him. Uh, he's got the cannon shooting in the archer tower. He goes ahead and drops his last heal there. Uh, honestly, probably a good decision. He was starting to lose some hogs. A lot of DPS coming at him with the skeletons and everything. Uh, so right there, they, they're at full health. One bomb's not going to take them out. There's enough juice left to take out that last expo, and then it's cleanup time. Uh, so you see how a complicated base at first glance, once you start breaking it down, it can definitely be done, uh, and not that difficult, really. Uh, so we'll look at another base, talk about it, and break it down in a similar fashion. All right, guys, here's the next one we're going to look at now. This base, if you... I think this is a pretty common base. It might even be a foreign base. But even if it's not, even if you've never seen this base before, this one, unlike the last one, is almost at first glance. Uh, you know exactly where the double bombs are. The only place that makes sense for them in this base is here and here. And that's exactly where they are. Uh, a lot of people will do it like that and then, then put these uh, quad Teslas here. Which is exactly what this guy did. So, again, you're going to see this recurring theme. What FB does is he simply sends six, five, six hogs right here. They're going to take out this archer tower. They're going to move to this wizard tower. They're going to take it out. And as they do that, when they start jumping over this wall, they sort of tend to spread out. Boom, right there. One of those giant bombs goes down. Um, he actually takes out the wizard tower and his hogs kind of take a path around so he doesn't get the second bomb. But regardless, he gets the CC lure and one of the bombs in the double set is triggered. Now all he has to do, bring them over to the side, uh, drop an anchor, wizards, witches, the normal things that you see, the archer queen to back it up. And then you're going to see again, guys, watch the funnel creation. He breaks it here and he breaks it here. Now when he drops his king and he has his jump spell placed right here, the king's definitely going in. The golem's going to use the jump spell and go in. They're going to get to this apartment. They're going to take the queen out and trigger the double set of bombs. Your kill squad's job to take out the queen, to take out a double set of bombs. Uh, if you've done that and you've done the lure with a with a giant bomb trigger there, you've got the base one. All you have to do is not fall asleep, keep your hogs healed up, and you're going to be fine. Uh, FB sends him in from the top. 
which is great. Uh, sends him in here, drops a heal spell for him. They start moving through the base, drops another one, I believe, right in here, and then drops, no, excuse me, that's not right. The first heal is right in this area with the, for the quad Teslas. The second one sitting right on top of that bomb. You've got to pre-heal that last bomb spot. Uh, you know that. And then the third one was right down here just to keep them alive. The kill squad sort of handles this side of the base. Uh, so pretty simple, honestly. If you can get in there, get one of those bombs triggered with the lure, take the queen out, trigger the other bomb set. Again, all you've got to do is keep your hogs alive. So let's watch FB do it. All right, here we go. Again, the hogs go down first. What's he got? I think he might have a few more than that. Six, eight hogs, maybe. Something in that range. Uh, just enough. You gotta sort of get a feel for it. Enough to get in there. Right there. Mission's pretty much accomplished. The the CC lure, the bo one bomb trigger. If he got the second bomb, that would have been a bonus. Uh, but you don't have to. Once that first bomb is triggered, mission accomplished. Just make sure the clan castle troops are empty. Uh, you see he drops an anchor over here. Brings them over to the side. Drops the, the barbs, the witches. Uh, normal clan castle kill stuff and again that queen backing up that's huge look how fast she's taking out those minions right there the minion threat's gone uh just got to get to that queen base or excuse me the witch basically uh goes ahead he's got the cc under control so he goes ahead with the golem now all that's being distracted he can start creating his funnel on both sides you see there nice use of the minion because the archer tower was targeting the golem the cannon wasn't so a wizard would have been targeted uh, but right there backs it up with a wizard now the funnels broke on top and then right there boom it's broke on bottom you see the king he's got no choice the closest thing is to take that jump spell uh he's close enough to the golem that it's being shot by the queen he's locked onto the enemy queen uses the ability that starts triggering the bombs and now it's completely safe to send the hogs in uh, fb comes in from the top two finger drop perfect they're going to meet back up in the middle there under that same heel so that's always nice uh, the tesla start popping Obviously, you're going to need a, a heal for your hogs when you got quad Teslas. And then a few hogs from the side there just to sort of funnel, keep the funnel going. Keep pushing them hogs straight down through the base. A nice touch. Uh, the second heal coming right here because he knows he's got to have it for the giant bomb that's going to trigger as soon as the expo goes down. Right there, the hogs are full life. Bomb goes off. They go down immediately. Tick back up. Uh, it's over. You know, he's safe. He's got an extra heal there for the bottom just to keep his hogs at full life because they're going to have to step out. He actually had a balloon. Didn't really do much for him. Uh, sending in the uh, wizard tower was already dead before it got there. Now the hogs can uh, focus on taking out those skeletons, taking out the king, and cleanup can begin. You see he's spreading his wizards out. Uh, that's all there is to it, guys. The next one we're going to look at is a little different because I, know which, I already know what you guys are asking. I'm on it. Let's check out the next and final base, and then we'll wrap this thing up. All right, here's the last base. I know you guys, I'm getting to where I can predict your questions and I can hear you screaming at the screen, what if I can't trigger a bomb with the first set of hogs, with a CC lure, what do I do? I can't hog that base? No, of course not. You, you can still hog the base. Uh, this one maybe still could have gotten a trigger. Uh, obviously, the giant bombs are this direction and they're turned a different way uh, so that they would have to come in. Uh, you could still send the hogs here, but these defenses could make them stray a little bit tougher to get to get to uh so geo doesn't even attempt to get to it with the, with the lure he simply comes in the top i believe uh, with a few loons uh, maybe a hog just empties out the cc lure and brings them over to the side brings them over to the side upon the queen now the, the kill squad goes the same queen and all that stuff breaks the funnel uh, funnels them in obviously brings a jump spell for right here that's going to let them come in there now while you might not be able to get the first set of of bombs with your with your hogs with your CC lure, you can always I should say always you can almost always get a set of bombs with your golem with your kill squad, uh, or at least be looking for bases that you can, because this this is gonna you know you need that you need one set triggered having to path your bomb your hogs in a way to not get wiped out by two well placed set of, of double giant bombs is pretty tricky so you want to get one of them taken out uh, obviously you got to break your your make your funnel you break that you send everything in uh, the cc troops are down the queen goes down and this giant bomb set gets triggered now here's where geo does something that i probably wouldn't have done my advice to people on this you've got to imagine you're coming in here uh, the kill squad's taking most of this stuff out uh, you know, let's say at least up to this point, that's all been wiped out by the kill squad. So if I were sending my hogs in here, I would send them 
from this angle, probably a two finger drop to push these hogs in. When I'm trying to take out a, a set of bombs with my hogs, I want to pass them in a way that they trigger one at a time. I want to come from what I call the short side. Uh, if you look at this double set of bombs, it has a long side, which I would say is this, and it has a short side, which I would call that, just so you know what my terminology is. Uh, I want to come at the bombs from a short side because it ensures there's no way if this uh, air defense goes down and my hogs are coming from this angle and then they go to this wizard tower, which they will, they have to, there's no way I can trigger these bombs at the same time. They're not going to. The first bomb's going to trigger, I'm going to have a pre-heal, then the second, as it goes down and the hogs move on, the second bomb's going to trigger. So that's what I call the short side and long side when you hear me talking about that. Um, Geo actually does a little different. He just comes in from this way, and because of the way this is set up, and I believe he has a Tesla that pops right here, which really kind of saves him, uh, the hogs sort of split, and they still trigger the bombs one at a time. And you see also that this wizard tower has moved forward two spaces. Had it not been that way, had it been even further forward, I think it would have been more difficult for him. But uh, the hogs just sort of run over here, and they don't trigger this bomb. Uh, these hogs go to this Tesla, and they do trigger this bomb. He's got the pre-heal, and he's safe. But again, uh, if it was me, I w this is all eliminated. You know, you've got these defenses down, and you're coming in with your hogs. I would send them in this way. Uh, I think this is down too. They would, and two-finger drop here. These hogs would obviously go here. These would go here. Now, these might split and go back out this way. But these hogs coming from this side, they're going to that air defense. And if you put a pre-heal there, there's absolutely no way you're going to trigger those bombs at the same time. So, to answer your question, when you can't get to one set, you can't pre-trigger one bomb, learn hog pathing, come at the short side to where you ensure that the bombs are going to be triggered one at a time. That's how you deal with cord bombs or uh, bombs that you can't get to. You just have to path your hogs to where they trigger them one at a time have a pre-heal waiting on them, and the base all of a sudden is not that difficult. Let's watch Geo do it, and we will call this a day. All right, you see the lure coming from the top side there. I'm sorry, I said balloons. He just sent a few hogs in, and then one balloon to take out that mortar. Uh, gets the CC lure, takes out a few defensive buildings. Uh, so good value for his hogs, but again, no, no, no bomb went off. You see the Tesla that we talked about there? Uh, that's also helping to protect those bombs from from such a lure that would trigger one. It would be a pretty difficult uh, lure actually to, to get in there and trigger one of those bombs. I like the minion uh, anchor when you've got a witch in the CC. You see how it makes the skeletons hold back and it, it tends to bring everything else forward uh, so that the skeletons aren't way out ahead. That's what you want. You want your skeletons out ahead of your force uh, soaking up all that damage. Uh, and that minion sort of prevents it, the, the defensive witch, from having that ability. Uh, you see right there, boom, the, the golem goes down. Uh, right there, the, the wizard on the bottom, creating that funnel on bottom. Uh, everything, the jump spell right there going in. And luckily, that mortar did not go down, and the, queen, the king went to it. I think had that not happened, the king could have took a walk around this base. So you got to be careful. you got to make sure you get that funnel created. But right there, locks onto the queen, uses the ability, one bomb's already triggered. As soon as that Tesla goes down, uh, and the witch, wizard tower right here, second bomb gets triggered. Now, he's only got the one double set to worry about. You see, he sends his hogs in. He does drop a couple of loons there to take out that cannon just for funneling purposes, make sure the hogs don't wrap back around and backtrack. Uh, and then you'll see here what I'm talking about. He's got the pre-heal. Had that Tesla not been there, I think he would have wiped his hogs out because they would have sort of came in from the left side as well and they would have triggered the bomb at the same time. Uh, but it was there and it was a good job. Uh, just after that, you see the hogs have completely left behind uh, in the dust that last bomb. Nothing to really worry about. Just keep your hogs up at this point. Dropping heels. Uh, and it's pretty much autopilot at that point. Uh, so a great attack geo again, but guys watch that when you're coming in on that double set of bombs that's still there, come in on that short side. It just, it just assures that you're not going to trigger them at the same time. All right, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the updated version. I hope you learned a few new things or maybe uh, some things that you need to work on. You saw in these videos or in these attacks and you'll take it back to your clan and get some three stars win some wars, uh, and just have more fun by sucking less. Thanks, guys. Jake from One Hive. Until next time, reminding you guys.
to suck less.